Trio Navarro here of iConnectivity. iConnect MIDI is the most advanced, convergent MIDI interface available. With its broad connectivity capabilities over multiple ports, it allows connecting combinations of MIDI instruments and computing devices not previously possible. In this video, I'll show you how to put together a moderately complex system of MIDI devices that is suitable for producers, stage performers, and sound designers. We'll cover the basics of how iConnect MIDI gets used as a central hub of connectivity and how each piece gets connected. Let's get started. Let's start with a list of equipment that you will need. First, an iConnect MIDI, which comes with a six foot long cable that has a mini USB connector to a 30 pin connector and its power supply. Next, we have a collection of USB MIDI controllers from different manufacturers that we're going to connect together. Some are keyboards and some are drum pad controllers. All are inexpensive and very compact. Next, you're going to need a powered USB hub and USB cables to connect to the USB MIDI controllers. Next on the list is a sound generator. We're using a Roland Half-Rack synthesizer module and its power supply. Ensure that you've got sufficient audio cables to connect to a mixer or your speakers. Let's hook everything up. First, let's start with connecting all of the USB cables to the powered USB hub. Because we're using five controllers, we'll put five cables into the hub. Keep in mind that iConnect MIDI allows you to connect up to eight USB MIDI controllers through a hub. Now let's start connecting the USB controllers. This first one uses a USB-B connector, so let's plug that in. The next controllers all have mini USB connectors on them. So let's attach those cables to the controllers. The next thing we'll connect is the synthesizer module. This Roland synthesizer module only has the standard MIDI DIN connectors on the back. So we'll attach a MIDI cable to its MIDI in because it will receive MIDI messages from the controllers. The other end of the MIDI cable will be connected to the rear panel of iConnect MIDI, which has two pairs of MIDI DIN ports. Connect the other end of the MIDI cable to one of the MIDI output ports on the rear panel of iConnect MIDI. In this setup, it doesn't matter which one. Next, connect a USB cable to the USB-A port on the front of iConnect MIDI. Then connect the other end of the USB cable to the computer side output port of the powered USB hub. Next, we'll attach power to iConnect MIDI. The barrel jack plugs into the rear panel of iConnect MIDI. The lights will momentarily blink and then the power light will remain on. Attach the power adapter to the synthesizer module. Now let's start playing. With each MIDI controller, the synthesizer module will play a different sound. In this controller, a synth bass sound. On this controller, a piano sound. On this controller, a string sound. On this controller, a choir sound. On the drum pad controller, drums. 
One thing to know is that in this setup, each MIDI controller is assigned and transmitting on a unique MIDI channel. Each controller will be transmitting messages on a MIDI channel between 1 and 16. That's required for a multi-timbral synthesizer to be able to play different sounds for different MIDI channels. Of course, all the controllers could be played at once. And if I had more than two hands, I'd be playing more of the controllers at the same time. Thanks for watching. Now go make some music.